Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I am taking on the challenge of making over a piece of furniture using only spray paint. I'm gonna be doing a modern color block finish. You guys are not gonna believe this makeover, so if you wanna see it, just keep watching. This is the three drawer dresser that I'm gonna be giving a makeover today. And here is my inspiration. It's a beautiful modern color blocked piece that has a price tag of nearly $3,300, but I'm gonna do this for a lot cheaper. This is the last piece of furniture I got from a set off of Facebook Marketplace for $100. So I've already made over the other two. It's this one's turn. So I paid about $35 for this piece. Today's video is sponsored by Krylon. I'm gonna be using all of their spray paint to make over this piece. And like I mentioned in the beginning, spray paint is all I'm using. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm starting off by cleaning my piece with a degreaser. You can use any kind of soap or cleaner that you have. You just really wanna make sure that your piece is clean before you try to adhere any paint to it. And no matter what cleaner you use, you always wanna wipe it back and rinse it with some clean water afterwards. The rags never lie. Your paint's not gonna to stick to this, so make sure you get it off. My piece has a lot of nicks and dings and I'm going for a smooth modern finish. So I'm just gonna take a wood filler that is paintable and I'm just gonna fill in any imperfections that I see. Once the wood filler is dry, I'm just using a 220 sandpaper to smooth everything back. But I am gonna be doing some stripping on this piece today. So I'm just grabbing my basic random orbital sander and I'm gonna use that 220 sandpaper to smooth this out. I'm gonna strip back the drawers completely. So I'm gonna remove those and set them aside. I'm grabbing my sander again and I'm just gonna scuff up this surface cause it's really shiny. It's just gonna help the paint stick. You're not gonna have to do this with every single piece but I definitely thought this one needed it. You could do this with any entry level sander like this. You can usually find these from 30 to $60. I'm going for a raw wood finish on the feet as well as the drawers. So I'm just grabbing a 120 sandpaper and I'm removing all this finish to reveal the bare wood underneath. I'm removing all the hardware before I sand my drawers and to save money, I'm going to end up spraying these metallic down the road. So I'm just going to put these aside and save them for later. To sand down the drawers, I'm using the same 120 grit sandpaper that I used on the feet. Now that I have all that stain removed, I'm just taking a 220 sandpaper and smoothing out this raw wood. And before I start painting, I'm just gonna wipe back all my dust. Before I paint the body, I wanna seal the feet. So I'm just grabbing a Color Max Clear. This is gonna be a satin finish. It's gonna keep the beautiful look of the raw wood and just give it some slight sheen. The Color Max comes with this really big button spray tip that makes it really easy to spray and you can spray it in any direction. So it was perfect for getting these feet and you can use this indoor or outdoor. This is obviously gonna be indoor, but it has a lot of different applications. I did two coats on here and just let it dry about a minute in between each coat. You definitely wanna think about doing thin layers versus a thick coat. I let this dry overnight and then I came in and taped the feet off. So when I start spraying the base white, they will be protected. To get a crisp line, I'm taking some of that clear and just spraying it around the tape to set it and then letting this dry about a minute. And now I'm gonna start with my white. I chose the Krylon Fusion all-in-one to paint this base because it has superior adhesion and durability. You don't need to prime with it. And like I said, you don't need to sand the piece back. I did scuff this up a little bit because it is a shiny factory finish. It's just gonna help the paint adhere, but you're not gonna have to do that in every single case. Before I started spraying, I shook up my can for two minutes to make sure the paint was really mixed well. And I'm just doing long strokes across, overlapping my spray and lifting up on my button when I get from side to side. You want to make sure that you're working in a very well ventilated space. I'm also wearing a mask to protect myself and I have my spray tent set up and my drop cloth to protect my floor. When working with spray paint, you really want to work in thin layers. This stuff you can layer up really well and just wait one minute in between each coat. 
Since I was taking this from such a dark color to a light color, it took a lot of coats. I didn't keep track of all of them, but I used three cans to cover both of the sides, the top, and the front of the frame. Once my last coat was done, I went ahead and removed the tape on the feet. I like to remove these when it's wet because I feel like you get a cleaner line. Okay, now I'm ready to color block these drawers. I'm gonna start off by putting a base coat of the clear to seal the raw wood that is going to be part of my piece, as well as gives this a nice smooth base coat for all the colors I'm gonna add up on top of this. I did two coats on these drawers and I let it dry overnight. These are the four colors that I chose to color block the piece and I'm gonna incorporate that natural wood tone in there too. To color block these drawers, I'm going to split them into four triangles on each rectangle. That's gonna make it really easy on me. So I'm just starting with a small triangle on the first drawer and I'm gonna work off of that. I'm just using painter's tape to shape my triangles and then I'm gonna use some butcher paper. You can use craft paper, newspaper, anything you have to protect the rest of the drawer. Again, I'm gonna do my first coat in that clear just to set my tape. First color I'm using is matte summer wheat. It's a really beautiful mustardy deep kind of yellow. And since it is so light, I had to do three coats and I waited one minute in between each coat. After the third coat, I like to peel it up when the paint is still wet so I can get those sharp lines. I know you guys are used to seeing me seal a piece, but with these paints, another benefit is that you don't have to seal. These are gonna seal themselves. It is a very durable paint and they are not gonna chip. You're gonna have a beautiful finish. And you're also saving money by not having to buy brushes and you're saving the time of cleaning the brushes too. Now this part takes a little bit of time because you have to wait for that first triangle to dry before you can go ahead and do the second one. So I did have to wait an hour in between each color, which is, you know, not ideal if you're trying to get this done fast, but if you're trying to do it correctly and you want it to look good, you definitely wanna wait for that paint to be dry before you put more tape on top of it. The next color I'm using is Satin Peacock Blue. I incorporated a couple more different fall colors based off the original piece that I'm trying to kind of be inspired by. Uh, just know that when you're putting your paint on, it will look brighter than it's gonna dry to. The top of the can really shows you what color it's gonna be, but when it's wet, it sometimes is brighter, but as it dries down, it really deepens up. So now I'm going back to this other triangle next to the very first one that I did, um, taping off and protecting all those areas. And I'm grabbing this beautiful terracotta color, again, incorporating another fall type color into this uh, color scheme. Now this one was super bright when it went on, like it looks like pumpkin orange, but it dried down really dark and beautiful, which you will see in just a few minutes. And I'm leaving this last triangle on this drawer raw, so I'm ready to move on to drawer number two. And I know you might be thinking, why don't you just put all your tape on? Well, if I did that, there would be a gap in between each triangle and I want them touching. The next color I'm using is Bonnet Pink, and this is one of their chalky finish spray paints. I had to try this out because you guys know how much I love chalk style paints. I like the way that this sprays on. It has really good coverage and it has a really beautiful matte finish when it's done. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break from the color blocking to finish off my hardware. I've just grabbed a metallic gold in the Fusion all-in-one paint, and I am just gonna spray this on here, and it's gonna give it a beautiful metallic finish. My inspiration piece had clear acrylic and gold hardware, which looks really pretty, but I sourced some of those out and they're really expensive. So I'm just reusing what I have, painting it gold, and it's gonna give it the same look for a lot more of affordable price. Okay, let's get to finishing up this color blocking. I 
wanted to slow it down for you one more time and just show you how this pink and yellow section have dried. Now I'm taping off those lines just as closely as I can. Again, you wanna make sure that those portions are dry for at least an hour before you put tape on them. Then you're gonna protect the rest of your piece with your craft paper or your butcher paper and tape that down. Then you can seal your tape with the clear or you can use the color that it is actually touching. So on this side, I'm gonna use the yellow and then on the other side, I'm gonna use the pink. Give that about a minute to dry and then you can go in with your new color. This process is gonna give you really crisp lines. Okay, get excited, this is my last triangle. <laughs> Once I let everything dry, I was ready to put the drawers back in and now I'm gonna grab my hardware and put that on as well. Before the big reveal, I wanted to show you my all-in cost on materials for this piece. It ended up being $88. It would be a little bit more if you had to buy that sander, but still a great cost savings compared to my inspiration piece. Who's ready for the reveal? You guys are not gonna believe this one. Here is my color blocked piece completely done in spray paint. Thanks to Grylon for putting this amazing challenge out to me. Do you think you could tackle a whole piece with just using spray paint? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. If you wanna see some more of my makeovers, check out some of these videos that I linked for you guys. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.